The FDA started its investigation of the biggest players in the e-cig industry shortly after our first reality check on the Juuling craze last month. An FDA ban of flavored nicotine products would be a shot in the arm for schools that are on the front lines of what's being called the Juuling craze. It's a huge problem. These things don't belong in a school. Wando principal Dr. Sherry Eppelsheimer says e-cigs are in our schools in large numbers. The small, virtually indetectable devices that look just like a USB drive deliver what users say is a powerful dose of nicotine and a big high. It's nearly impossible for teachers to catch them in the act. And I'm talking, you turn your back for a minute to write on a whiteboard. They've done it that yeah. quick. Dr. Epps says the Charleston County School District listened to principals who raised the flag on the growing problem and stepped up to discipline those caught using or worse, selling e-cigs. The very least you're going to get for having an e-cig on you is one to two days out of school suspension. We're going to refer you to law enforcement, and then we're going to go from there to refer. If it's if it's selling or distribution, it's going to go to our um, Department of Alternative Programs for expulsion. What makes the products especially dangerous is it's not just nicotine that ends up in those pods. Anything from opiates to synthetic marijuana and more can be vaped. You know, when the kids buy it, from another student, they don't know what they're getting. And, you know, my biggest fear is walking in the bathroom and I've got a child that's unconscious and I don't know, other than, you know, searching the child and finding an e cig on him, what, what's wrong with them. Now, Dr. Epps says e cigs are the number one piece of contraband they find during random searches of students. But frankly, critics are skeptical that the FDA is actually going to do anything here in the near term. So the best advice is to talk to your kids. Make sure they know the dangers of e-cigs and exactly what they're putting into their bodies. Brad Franco, Count on Two.